After a year off because of the pandemic, uh, COVID canceled it last year. An event, a big event benefiting cancer research in Madison is making its return to town. We're talking about the Andy North Trivia Night. That's at the Sylvie. The host himself, Andy North, joined me this morning to talk more about what's to come. This is exciting news. Yeah, How it's really exciting to get people back together. Uh, you know, hopefully things don't get any worse than they are right now, but hopefully we can get a bunch of people there and have some fun and raise some money for cancer research. And that's the whole bottom line. How long, how difficult a decision was it to bring it back? Because the situation you know, is fluid right now. Well, and Madison's a little bit different than a lot of other parts of the country. So we have to have respect for that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but people are eager to get out and you see it at football games, you see it at basketball games. It's fun to be out and uh, the kids are enjoying having people to play in front of. So that's important. How does Trivia Night work? Well, basically, it's it, you put together teams of your friends, family, whatever. Uh, I think there's eight in a team. You buy a table, and then we have a you know, question and answer kind of deal that you fill out cards and you, you know, and, and we do, we do cheat a little bit. We do sell answers if you really want to win badly. So it's extra money for research. So we, basically it's just having a bunch of fun and getting friends together and, and, and again, raising some great money. And all of the money goes to the Carbone Cancer yep. Center. And it, it goes right to research. Uh, some of the programs we're doing right now, we've got a lot of great, we've got some superstar doctors that are getting a lot of stuff done right here in Madison. And it's, it's exciting to be able to help fund them. And you've benefited yourself. Uh, unfortunately, yes. And all of us, you <laughs> yes. know, but you're doing yeah. well and, and feeling well, healthy yeah. and oh, that's wonderful. That's great. So. You know, we don't often get an opportunity to talk to you. So let's uh, let's talk a little <laughs> sure. Badger sports. Uh, you're probably Badger, you know, the number one Badger fan. You're going to the volleyball game yeah. this afternoon, yeah. I understand. But how do you think the pandemic has affected the teams? Well, I think it's really changed how they operate. And I think that's the biggest thing that, you know, in, in sports uh, at a high level, you, you become creatures of habit that you do things a certain way and that's how you've done them. Um, and all of a sudden that gets broken down and you can't be around your guys. Yeah. Um, you know, so much of te building teams is the, the great uh, com camaraderie and friendships that get built within that. And, you know, with these guys being separated for basically a couple of years where you can't hang out together, you can't do a lot of the things you need to do, uh, I think it's really caused some problems. And uh, it's been nice this year to get back to something that's a little bit closer to normal. Uh, they're still being careful, they're still doing all all the things they need to do to try to stay healthy. But right now, one of the biggest problems is the flu has gone through both the football and basketball teams and has really caused some issues. Mm -hmm. We had to skip the Maui Invitational this yeah. year um, because of the difficulties of getting into Hawaii. So they went to Las Vegas. Did you go to that game? I was to, there. To that game? The, Hawaii's ninth <laughs> island. Yeah. Our young team did great out there. They ended up winning as a great experience against some great teams. And yeah. uh, I think those are the kind of bonding trips that are really important for, for, for these young guys on these teams. This time of the year, Hawaii is sort of the epicenter yeah. of golf, isn't it? Mm -hmm. In the golf world? Working for ESPN, we've gotten part of the new contract with the tour. I'm going to go work the first two weeks in Hawaii. So, you know, oh, oh wow. gee, I'm, you know, you got to be in Hawaii for two weeks in January, but I'm going to miss a lot of basketball games I'm not happy about, but, <laughs> but it will be, it'll be fun to get out there and, and, and see all these good young players we've got. And uh, there's not a lot of people that attend those two events usually, so that is not an issue. As we get into come back to the mainland and get to the West Coast, we'll get to see fans. Uh, you know, they, the tour has done a great job of, of really trying to create an environment where we can get people out there, but it's still safe. It's outdoors. That really helps. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and people are asked to be smart and be, you know, be careful about how they want to. If they aren't feeling well, don't come or wear a mask or whatever. So uh, exciting about getting 2022 started and, and get out there and actually have to do some work. Is there any truth to the rumors that Tiger may be retiring this year? Well, I think it's really interesting is this week is the father-son and Tiger's actually going to play with his son Charlie. We have no idea what level he's going to be playing at, but to get him back after 10 months after almost losing his life, almost yeah. losing his leg in this accident, it's going to be really special to, to get Tiger uh, playing golf in front of people. And I would suspect the ratings will reflect <laughs> that this week. Yes, I'm sure you're right. <laughs> well, tell everybody when is trivia this year? It's going to be uh, February 24th at the Sylvie. Uh, 
we've been lucky to have it there a couple other times it's a great venue it's a it's a wonderful site to have some fun and for the younger generation that that they go there for shows and some other things it'll be a, the same kind of hopefully electric evening that we can have a blast i've been many times it really is fun we could all use a smile and a laugh Absolutely. right now and it benefits a fantastic yep. cause thanks. andy thanks. great to see you great to have a chance to talk to you merry christmas to you thanks and your you, family Susan, and, and thanks for all your support happy new year Carbone. thanks Trivia Night with Andy North is February 24th, 7 o'clock at the Sylvie in downtown Madison. Tickets are on sale now at andynorthandfriends.com and all of the proceeds go to support cancer research at the Carbone Cancer Center in Madison. I could listen to Andy talk about all and forever. It's I so mean, great to have a chance to talk to him. He can cover badgers, he can yes. cover golf, he can yeah, cover cancer can, research. Right, right. Just a great guy to talk to. Good yeah. seeing him.